सो वेलकम फॉर टूडेज क्लास ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर थर्टीन सर्फेस एरिया एंड वॉल्यूम एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री सो लेट अस स्टार्ट आई विल बी सॉल्व माई एक्सरसाइज थर्टीन पॉइंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री टूडे सो आई कैन टेक डाउन द क्वेश्चन दैट इज अ मेटल पाइप इज सेवेंटी सेवन सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग ओके रिमेंबर दिस सेवेंटी सेवन मीटर लॉन्ग दैट मीन्स इट विल बी द लेंथ ऑफ द पाइप दैट इज योर हाइट इट विल बी योर हाइट इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी सेवन सेंटीमीटर राइट नेक्स्ट वॉट इज गिवन टू योर द इनर डायमीटर ऑफ अ क्रॉस सेक्शन इज फोर सेंटीमीटर फॉर इनर डायमीटर फॉर इनर डायमीटर इट इज फोर सेंटीमीटर ओके एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द आउटर डायमीटर बींग फोर पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर सो फॉर आउटर डायमीटर इट इज हा मच आउटर डायमीटर इट इज फोर पॉइंट फोर राइट सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द इनर कर्व्ड सरफेस एरिया आउटर कर्व्ड सरफेस एरिया एंड टोटल सरफेस एरिया सो लेट अस फाइंड फर्स्ट राइट डाउन लेट लेट द लेंथ ऑफ द पाइप और यू ऑल कैन राइट डाउन लेट द लेंथ ऑफ द पाइप हाइट इट इज ओके इच इज इक्वल टू वॉट इज गिवन सेवेंटी सेवन सेंटीमीटर राइट नाउ लेट अस सी द इनर रेडियस इनर रेडियस ऑफ द पाइप R is equal to small R is equal to four upon two, okay? Because for inner radius it is how much? Four, right? Four, four centimeter. Here it is given. This one, okay? Inner. So if you cancel this two ones are two twos are, so you will get two. Therefore, you can say that or R is equal to Two, okay. Next, two centimeter. Write it down. Two centimeter. Next, let us find the outer radius of the pipe. Outer radius of the pipe. Outer radius of the pipe is R capital R is equal to four point four upon two. So you will get two ones are two twos are. You will get two point two, right? Two point two. So your capital R is equal to two point two. सेंटीमीटर ओके ये इट वॉज गिवन आ ऑलरेडी फोर पॉइंट फोर आउटर इज फोर पॉइंट फोर नाउ लेट अस फाइंड द इनर कर्व्ड सरफेस एरिया द फर्स्ट पार्ट सो आई कैन राइट डाउन इनर कर्व्ड सरफेस एरिया इट इज द फॉर्म्यूला टू पाय आर एच इनर कर्व्ड सरफेस एरिया फॉर्म्यूला इज टू पाय आर एच so two multiplied by what is the value of pi twenty two upon seven what is the value of inner curved surface area we got the value to be two right and your height is obviously seventy seven now you can cancel this seven ones are seven ones are so multiply all this you will get nine sixty eight you can check nine sixty eight if you don't know how to multiply you can comment below I'll provide a separate video link of that in the comment section only so this was your first part right now let us find the second part here you all can see we are done with the first part now we need to find the second part outer curved surface area now let us find the outer curved surface area what is the formula for the outer curved surface area 2 pi capital r h okay so 2 Write down two multiplied by what is the value of pi twenty two upon seven. What is the value of r? You all got two point two, right? Two point two multiplied by height is your seventy seven. Seven ones are seven eleven are. What answer you all will get? You should get one. If you multiply all that, you will get one zero six four point eight centimeter square. Okay. So this was your second part. 
outer curved surface area. If you, now let us find the total surface area. Okay. Now we need to find the. We are done with the outer surface area. Now we need to find the total surface area from this. Okay. So let us find the total surface area. So you all can write down. Okay. So what is the formula for the total surface area? Two pi capital R H plus two pi R H plus two pi into capital R square minus small r square. So what answer we got for your this one? Two pi R H two pi capital R H we got ten point ten one zero six four point eight. Plug the value over here. Okay, this is two pi R H no plus this two pi small R H. Plug the values over here. So one zero six four point eight. So uh, plus nine six eight, right? Nine six eight, you all got right over here. Then plus twice. What is the value of pi twenty two upon seven? After that, what is your capital R? Capital R was two point two minus small r was two two i square, right? Here also it was square, and in the bracket. So now what you'll have to do is add these two numbers first. First, add these two numbers: one zero six four point eight plus nine sixty eight. The answer you will get two zero three two point eight plus. What I'll have to do is multiply this. Two you will get forty four upon seven. Okay, if you all are not getting a place over here, you all can do one more thing. Let uh, cancel this part. Okay, scribble this part. Okay. So first, what you all do is write this as it is one zero six four point eight. Write it as it is one zero six, okay. One zero six four eight plus nine sixty eight, okay. Nine sixty eight plus two multiplied by twenty two upon seven. Also write it as it is. Then multiply it by what you will get is square of this. Now what is this square of two point two square will be four point eight four minus square of two is nothing but four. Okay, you all got four. So what you'll have to do is this part. Write it as it is. Then four point eight four minus four, you will get zero point eight four. Now multiply this. Okay. If you this keep it as it is one zero six four point eight plus nine sixty eight plus after solving this part, what answer you all are getting is five point. Write down five point two eight. Centimeter square it is. So after adding this, now you'll have to add all this part and see what answer you'll are getting. You will get two zero three eight point zero eight centimeter square. Okay. If you have not understood how to do this part multiplication and all, you can comment below. I'll provide you the link of. I'll make a video special video for you all. Okay, and I'll provide it to you all. So. So now you can write down the inner curved surface area is equal to nine sixty eight. Okay, what you got nine sixty eight. Okay, for inner curved surface, inner curved surface area nine sixty eight. What you got for outer curved surface area? The outer curved surface area is one zero six four point eight. Outer curved surface area is equal to one zero six four point eight. What about the total curved surface area? Okay, so total surface area we got two zero three eight point zero eight. Right, two zero three eight point zero eight. So I hope you have understood how to find all this exercise thirteen point two question number three. And I hope you have understood this. And thanks for watching.